Hi, Podrick McLaughlin here, Chairman of the Public Service Oversight and Petitions Committee here uh, in Leinster House. Today we are uh, launching our report on the direct provision system uh, here in Ireland. Uh, it was instigated by the request repeatedly um, from first the Ombudsman Emily O'Reilly uh, and now Peter Tyndall uh, asking for oversight uh, of that system and indeed uh, both of them as Freedom of Information Commissioners asking that the Freedom of Information Act but also apply uh, to the system. As we carried out our work uh, and we started to visit the centres, um, we just as a committee needed to comment not just on those two issues about extending the oversight but on the wider issues within the system. We have found the direct provision system here in Ireland to be not fit for purpose. Um, we have been greatly alarmed at what we have heard from residents uh, directly, uh, not just in the centres but at our hearings and in submissions and in the groups that advocate for them. It has to stop, there has to be change. We would like to see the system of application for asylum seekers speeded up dramatically. We can't have people for years languishing in these centres. We're particularly concerned on the impact of children. We want the children in these uh, direct provision centres to be treated like any other child in the state, to have the same rights, to be valued just the same. I'm sure every Irish family can understand that point. We want the right to work to be given to asylum seekers if they're lang languishing here for long periods of time. And we're very concerned that in terms of a European directive, uh, this state opted out without proper debate and analysis within the Oireachtas that needs to happen. There's a whole range of recommendations we've made around education, health uh, and, and the application system uh, that need to be addressed. So you as citizens we ask you to read the report, to look at the recommendations and to support our call for change. Thank you.